Welcome to Wakati Literature Podcast. So, today we will dwell on the magic of the episodic approach in the analysis of a doll's house by Henry Gibson. Here, we are required to divide the whole book into smaller episodes to help the learners acquire an unqualified mastery of the text. KCSE essays require that the student masters the minute details in quest to respond to the demands of the question. Now let's look at how to approach KCSE questions when analyzing a doll's house. One, think about the take-home message. Think about the embedded morals in the question. A student should always avoid negativity. In literature, virtues are usually rewarded, whereas vices are punished. For instance, in a doll's house, Nora Helmer and Mrs. Christine Linde are portrayed as selfless characters and thus are rewarded for their good nature. On the other hand, Tovald, Helma, is seen as a selfish individual who only cares about his reputation and eventually he loses his wife. The message here is selflessness or human sacrifice is a virtue while selfishness is a vice. Two, the two sides of a question. The questions usually encompass two sides. When responding to KCSE essay questions in a doll's house, always try to point out the keywords. Since the question is two-sided, the answer should also bring out the two sides. For instance, a selfish individual who only cares about his reputation causes pain to himself and others. Basing your illustrations on Henry Gibson's A Doll's House, write an essay to validate this statement. While responding to the question, the learners ought to bring out a selfish individual and how he cares, he only cares about his reputation with supporting illustrations from Adol's house. After that, they should illustrate how this selfishness causes pain to the said individual and others. Three, form. A KCSE literature essay comprises of three distinct parts, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. We begin with the introduction. The introduction falls on the first paragraph. It should earn you two marks. It should address both sides of the question. When writing the introduction, you ought to take note of the following. Demonstrate your understanding of the question. That is, what are you going to discuss? Do not define terms. Do not rewrite the words in the question. Instead, paraphrase. That is, you should use your own words. For example, if the question says materialism, you should say greed. Or when the question says sacrifice, you should say selflessness. Address both sides of the question. Use specific approach. That is, you should outline at least two points you're going to discuss. And lastly, in the introduction, you should be brief. Uh, the second part of uh, the essay is the body. The body comprises at least four paragraphs. A standard paragraph has a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and a clincher. The topic sentence answers the question. The supporting sentences focus on the illustration, whereas the clincher sums up the argument. Take note of the following when writing the body. Each point falls on a different paragraph. Address both sides of the question. On each paragraph, back up your argument with sufficient specific illustrations from the text. 
for each event discuss the background and the outcome of the character's actions. For instance, when Nora Helmer makes a sacrifice of borrowing £250 from Niels Krogstad in order to save his ailing husband, um, the outcome is that the husband recovers from his illness. The first sentence of your paragraph, that is the topic sentence, should answer the question. Then always remember to sum up your argument with a clincher at the end of every paragraph. Lastly, we have the conclusion and here the learner should simply sum up the whole argument and not introduce new points at this juncture. Take note of this. Testing of KCSE essay questions is based on three skills, and that is analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Analysis involves reading to get the minute details. For example, in a doll's house, the loan that Nora Helmer borrowed was 250 pounds. The Helmers stayed in Italy for a year. Nora's father died on 29th September. The second skill needed to approach a doll's house is synthesis. This is uh, the knitting together of different events or details to help you come up with a judgment. And lastly, we have evaluation, which is making judgments based on synthesis. For example, since Torvald Helmer has on so many occasions in the book appeared hell-bent on protecting his reputation at all costs, at the expense of others like Nora and Nils Krogstad, we can conclude that he is selfish, and that is our evaluation. That is the end of this episode, and in the next episode, we shall look at um, specifically how to identify episodes in a text and how to apply episodic approach in study of literature. We are on wekati.blogspot.com and you can follow us on social media at Wafula Wekati. Thank you for listening.